Okay. With me or the animals? Of course, Chloe. <laughs> if you're looking for a summer family vacation and want to stay in Texas, San Antonio is the perfect option. Joining us now are Dee Dee Poti from the San Antonio Convention and Visitors Bureau and SeaWorld Anim Animal Ambassador Clay and this sweetie pie right in this one making noise over here. How are you guys? Well, we're fine. we got a lot of noise to make down in San Antonio, right, Dee Dee? A lot of noise. It is always fiesta in San Antonio. So, <laughs> so much is happening. Thank you guys for having us on this morning. We really Absolutely. appreciate it. Absolutely. You know, I, we drive up all the time, and it is such a quick hop just to go <laughs> up. And uh, do you, have you taken the new toll road? The no. fastest highway in America? 85 really? miles per 85 hour? 85 miles an hour. It's like being on the Autobahn. It's just nice. right down to San Antonio. And it's, you know, it's so great. We get 30 million visitors a year, but guess what? Dallas, Fort Worth, this whole area is the second largest market for San Antonio. Oh, nice. Jeez. So what are some of the fun things going on down there this it summer? Is, it is going to be an unforgettable summer in San Antonio. We have so <laughs> many new things besides these guys. You know, this is going to be the first summer that folks can experience the new expanded river walk. You can hike and bike and canoe down by the Spanish Colonial Missions, which is a lot of fun. We've got the new HGB body adventure at the Whitty Museum, wow. a Matisse exhibit, uh, a human maze at the Natural Bridge Caverns Ranch. There is just so much going on. And we are having events every night on the Riverwalk in Market Square. All the old favorites are there, but we've got a lot of new things going on, not only at SeaWorld, but at Six Flags. How would you like to get in a shoot? and drop six stories yes. down a oh water God. slide. Count Isn't that sound like oh fun? God. Yes, and the, and the Spurs are in the finals. <laughs> and the Spurs are in the finals. We can yeah. say that, right? Yeah. 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 There yeah. you go. Go Spurs, They're go. They're in the finals. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Who are our little friends here? Well, you know, he's laughing at the Spurs winning, but I'm not. The only yeah. animal laughing like on set is this animal right here. Look what Justin's holding. That's a laughing kookaburra. They come from Australia. They're a kingfisher. And get this, Marcus. You're going to like this. This animal eats venomous snakes. So what it does it. is it grabs Love the snake it. right behind the head, and then it beats the snake's head against a rock. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Then it swallows that snake down completely whole. It's a violent Ooh. bird. <laughs> what about a, the venom? The venom, you know, they're, they're immune to that. They're immune to that as they swallow that animal. Yeah, oh, listen exactly. to this. Listen to this. <laughs> listen to that. <laughs> and that's what gives them the name Laughing Is that bird. like a bird? <laughs> Oh, that's, that's, not, that's no burp. That's her vocalization. <laughs> wow. No, so no. are they calling? What's he doing? Calling? She's talking to herself. She's probably seen herself in the monitors here, oh, to be honest with oh you. Oh, look. Oh, cute. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, Dee Dee said that San Antonio is a quick hop. I thought it was a funny pun because well, look right. what I'm holding. <laughs> a wallaby. This is a Bennett's wallaby. This right here is Nura. Look. She's a six-year-old wallaby. And look at this tail that he's touching. Oh. Very powerful. Also very powerful oh. back feet. These animals can jump 25 to 30 miles an hour. What? So they, can she stand up on her tail? Yeah. She sta well, she stands up on her hind legs, okay. uses her tail as balance, and then Kicks with that big foot right here. Unless he's, yeah. You're not gonna let her out. Watch this. Watch claws. this. Watch this. See how she sucks down to the pouch? Yeah. When a baby's born, they're the size of a gummy bear, and they live in their mom's pouch where they develop. And it takes about two months for them to do this for the first time. Stick oh, their head out. Wow. Oh, wow. Now, wow. gummy bears are small, but so is this creature right here. Watch. I'm gonna oh, pass geez. this off right behind you, Don. Oh, this is so cute. This <laughs> is a the first time on camera. This is oh. a pancake tortoise. This is Kopi. Oh. Now these animals come from Africa. And you know, the Seaworld Bush Gardens Conservation Fund uh, actually sent me to Africa just last year to study African wild dogs. Wow. And I didn't see any of these guys because they're so low to the ground. Don't squish underneath. Feel wow. that. Squishy. Yeah, you feel that? Yeah, yeah. The, feel the plastron, the bottom part of the shell. Because you think of shells as really hard, mm -hmm. wow. so it is on top, the right? The carapace is hard. The plastron down here is a little softer. Now, being, being that they're flat, so they get the name pancake tortoise. Also, because they smell like syrup. Smell that. Not they don't smell like syrup. syrup. No. I just I wanted to see if you do no. it. That'd be kind of funny. What's the what's the what's the reason? And I know all these animals they they adapt. Yes, adaptations. The, okay, yes. so what's the reason for a soft bottom, flat? Great shell? question. That's why you need to keep them on more. Uh, like these animals here. are thin like this to get under rocks. That's where they find refuge from the heat. They get away from the okay. sun. They also find ways away from predators. Animals oh. love to eat this. Now at SeaWorld, we educate young kids with this creature because they love little tiny tortoises. They're not afraid yeah. of that. But uh, I'm going to pass this off. Uh -oh. I have another animal coming another up. You know, at SeaWorld, we he just opened. He looks like he's ready for a selfie, though. He's like, <laughs> Go for it. Oh, he said smiling. animals love to eat it. If my name was Pancake, I would be. Don't take him down, huh? Uh, we just opened a new <gasps> aviary called Rose Aviary. We're going to see this bird right here. Oh, Watch this. this so Padre. Cool. Oh, Oh, Good job, oh, This is a roseate spoonbill. And inside it's Rose, beautiful. Inside Rose Aviary in Aquatica, San Antonio, people get to do this, what I'm doing right now. What? This is See, a native to my bird. kids, that's a flamingo. Out, Dawn. Put my arm out? Yeah. Oh, look at that. I have no food. Hold on there. Stay still. 
There, there it goes. You go. oh, Good yeah. job, Padre. This animal's from the Texas Gulf Coast. Oh. Now, you might not see it because they live in very tall marsh grasses, but of course, when you go out to explore nature this, sum this summer, or even come to SeaWorld, yeah. be mindful of wildlife. Think about what you can do, helping to keep down pollution. What about, about watching, out watching out for the rabbits on the roadway? Watching out for rabbits is important. <laughs> watching out for all kinds of stuff. Because they're all over the place. <laughs> Padre, you're not this getting on cool. this suit coat, man. Yeah, that's, oh. that's, that's, that's pretty fancy. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that is beautiful. Our SeaWorld, our SeaWorld Bush Gardens Conservation Fund sponsors project to protect these animals here on the Texas Gulf Coast oh, and also wow. animals all over the world. Yeah. And over 60 different countries, and we donate over a million dollars each year to animal projects. It's a sea so, world. Sea so. world to me is like one of those places as a kid you have to go. It's like yes. ingrained that you, you have to go you to Sea have World, to go. right? You That's have right. to go. It's part of that bucket list yeah. for everybody. It yeah. really is. Because I, I grew up in, the, in, a, in, a, in a very humble beginning, yeah. but oh, Sea World was me. the he's feeling that maybe the fish encore worm. to everything. So it was <laughs> it was awesome, man. Well, maybe if you're, if you're gonna go to Sea World, remember you pay for one day, come back all year, and starting here on June 14th, we're gonna be open late at night with brand new shows, a brand new ski show called Hydro Power, wow. and a brand new Shamu show called Shamu Celebration, Light of the Night. You get to learn about animals all day. And fun insider tip, this year, every stadium, every animal show, the first show of each day, get there early, is purely, strictly educational. Awesome. We're going to sit you there and go through a class about the animals. Wow. The next shows that will follow will be our, sh our, our lights and our sure. music. But if you want to learn if you want to learn about those creatures right off the bat, get the kids learning early in the morning, get there. And you know, another great insider tip for San Antonio, we want to spread the word, is that on visitsanantonio.com, the SAVE program, who's not looking to stretch their vacation sure. dollars, right? There's savings on hotels, on SeaWorld, on Six Flags, all kinds of things to do in San Antonio. Love so it. It's a great way. Jump on the toll road, get your save coupon, <laughs> come see Padre and the kids. The driving 85 miles per hour is worth it in Absolutely. and of itself. Very cool. Padre, I don't want any of your fish, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for more information, you can go to visitsanantonio.com and be sure to pay attention to our Facebook page over the next week. We'll be giving away a trip for two to San Antonio so you can experience SeaWorld and all the city has to offer. Thank you guys so thank much. You. Oh, we'll thank you. We'll see you at the end of Very cool. Can't wait to come back. Nice. <laughs> Next on the broadcast, we're talking about sprucing up your home for the summer with HGTV's Carmen de la Paz. Stick around.